By the end of today's video, you'll know how to put text behind objects, and I'll show you how to do that in two situations, with a still camera and with a moving camera. So let's get right into it. And first of all, we'll have to duplicate our clip, and we can do that by hitting Command C and Command V on the keyboard, Control C and Control V on our windows, or simply by hitting Optional Road on the keyboard, and then left clicking the clip and dragging it two layers above, like this. Now we're gonna head over to the color page. In this page, the first thing we're gonna do is create an alpha output, and to do that, we right click right here, and then on Add Alpha Output. Now we're gonna connect this blue output into this blue circle right here. And we're doing that because we're gonna mask out this mountain here. And what this alpha output does is transform everything that's outside of the mask into a transparent background. So to do the mask, all we have to do is click on this icon here, and then many options of masks will appear. But today we're gonna use this polygon mask right here. We're gonna click on it, we're gonna zoom in our screen, and we're gonna mask this mountain the best we can, like this. Okay, of course, I did it kind of quickly, but you can take as much time as you want to perfect this mask. And just so we know, the finest your mask is, the best this effect will look. So make sure to spend some time on it. Another thing we can do to make this look cool is to give this mask a little bit of softness. Like, this is fine. Now we can go back to the edit page, and here, where we left this blank space, we're gonna put our text. And we can do that by coming to Effects, then Titles, and dragging this text into our timeline. We'll adjust the length, and now we're gonna write our text. We're gonna increase the size, and on the settings, we're gonna reposition it, like this. Let's zoom in to see if the mask is all right. Yeah, it still needs a bit of refinement, so let's fix that. Yeah, now it looks all right, so let's see how it goes. Now, the same effect with a moving camera, and for that we'll use a different clip. And the first part of the process is pretty much the same. Duplicate the clip, drag it two layers above, go to the color page, add an alpha output, connect the dots, and mask out the building, like this. And now, since this camera is moving, what we have to do next is track the movement of the building so the mask follows along. And we can do that by simply clicking on this button right here, the tracker button, and then clicking on this little play button here, the track forward. And it'll go like this. Done. Let's give it some softness as well, and let's go back to the edit page. Let's add another text, type it in, increase the size, move it up, adjust the position, and there we go. And let's see how it looks. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments down below what types of videos you want me to make. And if you want to learn more editing tricks and hacks inside DaVinci Resolve, make sure to check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I'll see you there.